What is going on guys? Real Dallas in here with another video. What's going on guys? How are you doing today? Happy Monday. Uh, hope today is treating you well. Um, today's been a, a pretty steady day. Um, got up, got some coffee, um, got some, uh, got a doctor's appointment ready for my uh, T-level samples and endocrine tests. So we're doing good guys. Um, you know, the haircut's on point. Everything's feeling good. We're looking good. Our, um, you know, our physique's looking on point. So, you know, I made a lot of progress this last week. So yesterday ended the last day of the, um, the basically the travel for work, but I actually ended up getting transferred. So this morning we're going to the new gym. Um, basically we are, um, we're now working for the other gym and not gold gym anymore, which is great. So nonetheless, guys, um, Transferring definitely wasn't easy. And today we're gonna to be talking about how going through change is is not always easy, but sometimes it's necessary. So, you know, whenever I transferred over here into Dallas, I had been working my ass off, uh, as you know, in a parking lot flyering and doing really good for the company. And we've been kind of out here doing our thing. Well, um, you know, obviously that paid off in terms of, you know, me getting to go downtown and in going into the new, um, basically going to the new location and working for them. So since we did well, we get to go out there, we get to have a lot of fun with it. And so, um, the opportunity came up to work there and I, you know, I, we're moving at some point closer to that location anyway. So it makes sense just to, you know, go ahead and transfer over there. Um, now that club is way, it's way cooler than, you know, where I was at. So basically, you know, there's room for lighting, the spatial audio sounds great. The environment's great. The social um, crowd is great. Everybody is awesome and everybody who I work with is very energetic and they're very passionate and they they want to create a better life for themselves. So that being said, it was like a no brainer. I was like, of course I want to work here. I, I, I know I'm going to be here. I'm going to be closer to it anyway. So we might as well do it. Well, that kind of came with some backlash, right? Because, you know, you transfer. I just transferred in from Austin at New Year's, you know, to come to this location. And so, you know, my manager was pretty much, you know, I've been here for about two months now. My manager was pretty much like, well, what the fuck? You know, you just transferred down here and now you already want to transfer out of here. Like, what the fuck? You know, that kind of leads me high and dry. Well, you know, that's not the intention of my purpose at all, you know? And so basically whenever I decided to go through this change of this move, you know, I guess I didn't really consider the, the approach in which I was doing so. I just looked at it as like, hey, this is an opportunity. This is a promotion in my hands, right? So when you're going through the changes, you can't let other people's opinions really get you down. Um, you may upset some people. You may like ruin the expectation that they had of you, um, you know, but for the most part, you know, I'm loyal to the company right? I'm loyal to the company. I'm inside, whether or not they give a fuck about me or not, like I'm still, you know, in the same company, just at a different location in a different breed of gym, right? It's just a different brand. Um, so, you know, we get a pay raise, we get, you know, full-time benefits, which is great. Um, you know, I should have already had that, but you know, and due to the, um, kind of the way that I got transferred, you know, my, it just seems as though I wasn't, taken care of the way that I should have, right? And so when there was a lot of inconsistencies with, you know, being at where I was, I was just like, well, like, I feel like the opportunity to get to work at the new location and like actually get the benefits and work for a, a better wage, be, you know, closer to home um, soon. Um, Basically, it's just like a no-brainer. I was just, I'm ready to do it. And plus, I'm also socializing with a lot of great people and making moves. So, again, you know, it was very fast. It was definitely a fast week to decide on that. I'm trying to think of how long I've been here, right? It's just, it's been about two, two months already, right? And so, you can think about how fast life changes, you know, in a matter of two months, I've gone through one transfer or two transfers now, right? You know, that may look bad in terms of like, you know, transferring left and right, but you have to realize at the end of the day, you've got to do what's best for you. Um, you know, some people are going to not appreciate you for, 
you know, the work that you've done and they're going to want to pull you down to their level because they're going to be like, well, you know, uh, you have to be loyal to me or this and that. And it's just like, no, it's totally like not true. So in the end, you know, um, I took the position and it was a hard decision because it's like, I don't want to, I don't want to make anybody hurt for the decisions that I'm making, but I literally have to do what's best for me. So guys in life, there's going to be situations in which, you know, it's going to, it's going to be very hard to make these kind of choices and decisions, but changes are necessary for you to move on to the next level. I feel more confident than ever now, just like by this morning of it being transferred and done with like that, you know, things are going to start going in a better direction for me. Um, you know, the whole idea was to come back home and basically get to a point where I can stand on my own again and become stronger and, you know, get the, you know, and I'm starting to think clearly, I'm getting my health in order. I'm, you know, about to go get my blood work done straight up Friday. You know, there's a possibility of me being on TRT therapy, which, you know, for me, it's a game changer because like I've dealt, you know, I don't know if you remember the story about my Crohn's disease, but you know, for a year and a half, I was on corticosteroids, which basically kind of stunted my growth a little bit. Um, now I've been living years with having like, you know, estrogen being the main dominating factor and testosterone being right here, you know, whenever I have a spike of testosterone, it goes up and I'm great. And you know, even right now I feel like I'm sitting kind of up here, but you know, eventually it just kind of declines if you don't like try to like keep raising it. But if you can only go to like right here with testosterone while estrogen is kind of sitting right here and that doesn't fluctuate, you kind of just like dip below here sometimes. And then you have to like work really hard to keep it up. So, you know, if you have testosterone, where you're able to get up here, you know, with TRT therapy, then you're way above the marker and you're able to be comfortable as a man and in your own skin be, you know, testosterone based. And you're not gonna, you're not gonna be as emotional. You're gonna be able to think about rational decisions. Like basically it also helps with your sex drive. It helps with like women understanding and feeling, you know, the essence of your energy coming off. Right. So, you know, even if I was on TRT, I wouldn't give a fuck what anybody thought. I'd just be like, look, like this is something that's necessary for my life in order to progress and move forward and become a complete beast. So, um, you know, that's just the kind of conversations that I've had at the individuals at this new club. So again, like, you know, I'm getting value out of being at this new club as well. Like I'm socializing and getting to talk and experience that with other people um, and, and gain knowledge and, and kind of like put my story out there and see what people say and think. Right. And, and honestly, like I already had these suspicions all along that like I, you know, was low, low T or whatever the hell the case may be. And I don't care about putting my medical business out there, but you know, some people are, you know, educated in these types of, you know, fields and, and they've, you know, a, a either been on it, um, and are experienced in it and can help me, you know, walk me through it and, and, you know, not typically hold my hand through it, but just basically guide me and say, Hey man, like, you know, if you start to feel this way, you know, do this, you know, think about, you know, stacking it with this, this, and this, um, you know, to alleviate some of the other, um, disruptors for it. Right. Like, like as your estrogen rising, whatever the case may be. Um, so overall, it's been a great experience for me. Um, and I know that change is hard and I definitely didn't want to have to make this decision to, you know, as you guys know, the boy Thomas, you know, I was definitely working under him and working with him and I don't get to do that anymore. And it kind of sucks. But like at the same time, you know, like you have to do what's best for you. And I can still go hang out with Thomas outside of here. I can still go to that club and like check it out and make sure like everything's running smoothly and chill. You know, and that's just the thing that, you know, you have to remember is that if your main purpose is to change and get into a better position and, but your intentions are pure and they're in the right place, then nothing should ever bother you about making a big change like that in your life. So I hope that in your life, you can take this story from me and understand, you know, in certain situations, you're just going to have a hard decision to make, but change is necessary for growth. And you got to put yourself into those uncomfortable situations, unfortunately, in order to get to that next level, never settle for anything less than what you deserve guys. It, you know, life is really all about what you're settling for. And if you don't settle, you know, in your life for the things that are there right now, then there's always a possibility of growth and to improve. 
So I'll leave you guys with that. I hope today was a good video for you. I hope that we got this on you know a good 10 minute uh, clip for you guys. So we're, I'm trying to keep them shorter so that you guys, because I know attention spans are like short these days. So I think the whole like 16, 25 minute videos are just way too long. I'm gonna try to keep it as short as I can. And I think I'm gonna do more filming from my camera because I feel like the webcam is kind of just getting too stagnant. Um, I don't really feel like I'm able to interact in my world and environment in in because I'm so focused on like the webcam and like looking at myself in the webcam and I have a picture of me up here, you know, to see, you know, what the camera quality is looking like. But for the most part, I'm like disconnected from the computer and that feels a little bit more freeing. So I may do some more vlog work and just, you know, be walking around soon. Anyhow, guys, if you enjoyed the video today, go ahead and put a comment down below if you like the video. Um, go ahead and give it a like. If you can, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. I give advice to those who um, hopefully are trying to avoid mistakes and pitfalls into life. Um, but again, um, I hope to see you around. Give me any feedback that you have, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Much love. <laughs>